apply it to any part of your life. There's uh, um, debugging is uh, definitely more um, wider, more applicable skill than having uh, a knowledge of Dijkstra. So uh, the tasks that you can perform um, actually can affect many different skills at the same time. So I will use the similar analogy to RPG. So if you actually for example, if you played Fallout or similar kind of games, you notice that there are primary attributes like, you know it, wisdom, intelligence, or something like that. Um, so those primary attributes affect the secondary skills like speech, uh, problem solving, or things like that. So. Uh, uh, my point is, it's better to focus on the general skills and actually absolutely forget about uh, the knowledge because the knowledge eventually will get, uh, will find you somehow. For example, uh, you have no idea about string algorithms, and at some point of your life, you will happen, you will find. Uh, string problem on some contest and then you, you can learn it during the contest. There's no point, there's absolutely no point to learn that knowledge beforehand. And I know a lot of people disagree with me, um, but I, I managed to hit the target rating on top coder without knowing what max flow is, without solving any string problem, etc, uh, etc. Et so, really, there, I, <laughs> Okay, uh, let's move on. Uh, exponential growth. So this is the topic that sounds like it's from a motivation talk or a motivation scam talk. Um, there are lots of general skills that improve your learning rate, essentially. So um, it's better to learn those skills at the right start because you just move on faster and faster. So there's actually a placeholder for the poorly grown exponential function. Uh, the idea is that, um, okay, so let's move to examples. But for example, having a better physical shape means that uh, you can work for a longer period, uh, period of time. Uh, you get tired, well, you don't get tired that easily. Um, having better memory uh, means, well, there are people who are grinding thousands of problems, like literally thousands. And if you are forgetting problems that you were solving two years ago, there's no real point of doing them. Like, you don't gain, you don't gain anything. Um, each new problem probably pushes out the one that you were solving many years ago. Uh, so it's better to improve your memory instead of just grinding. Um, uh, okay, uh, since I don't have that much time, I'll move on. I, ha I have that much time, okay, I get it. <laughs> okay, um, yeah, but, um, okay, so, well, I think those skills are self explanatory. But, uh, uh, there, of course, if I had two or three hours, I could make uh, all these several pages long. But since we have more things to do, okay, choices. Um, probably the name is not most unfortunate, uh, but uh, what I mean by choices is uh, let's think of that like parameters that we use to our uh, tasks that we perform. For example, um, like let's okay, let's use those that I written here. I have, um, like um, we can. Th this is the big choice, and the community, the competitive programmers community, is split uh, by this. Uh, some people use pre-written code. Some people doesn't. Some people think that if they will use pre-written code, they they will get better. And this is the decision that actually has a huge trade-off. If you are using pre-written code, um, you will probably solve each problem faster because you have to spend less time. 
but on the other hand, you don't practice, um, let's call it mindless writing, where essentially you are, uh, you have a huge amount of code in your hand and you're just typing it very fast. So you're not practicing one of the skills when you are using pre written code. You will, at some point, if you have a Maxflow implementation, you will forget how exactly my Maxflow works. Uh, so it's hard to tell what is better. Most probably it's a bad idea to use per written code, but it will raise your rating. Not true rating, but the rating on some side. Um, code styling is another huge difference. Pretty much every coder has it his own personal code style. Um, you can adhere to some coding standards and thanks to that uh, it will be easier for you to find a job because when you are using your code styling for like an average competitive programmer, you won't get any job. Uh, using macros in C++, that's an another uh, big time changer. So, People outside competitive programming don't use for and reps and other things, but they are good for error checking. They are they're incredible at improving your prototyping speed. Uh, so it's there are no good ways out. It's you will never know uh, what is better, what is worse. It solely depends on your situation. It solely depends on what you want to improve. Those are your options. Um, okay. Uh, okay. That's small. Okay, and this is probably the biggest problem why it's not really possible to. Um, properly figure out what's the best way to practice. We don't know the full information. We actually, well, I said that using pre-written code will um, will probably make you forget the algorithms, but we're not really sure. So this is the reason why it's not possible to uh, just meet someone and tell them what's the best way to practice. Because we have no idea what at what point uh, of their competitive adventure they are. We don't know exactly what algorithms they know, and we would need like five, ten hours just to get a rough estimation to be able to tell them what's the best way for them to improve. So all of those blogs that you read about what's the best way to improve, they are actually kind of a BS. This works for them but it won't probably work for you. So this is why I'm talking about only such vague terms here. Um, so I didn't want to, I, I didn't want to give you any step-by-step -step instruction what to do, what, what to do to be better because it's just not possible. So this is the reason why some people opt for having coaches because they believe, and sometimes it's actually true, that um, there will be some guy that will know better about uh, themselves than... Uh, actually, oh, sorry, I messed that up. So, uh, so they believe that coach will know better than... Uh, which is not very probable. Well, no one will know better you than yourself. It's, it's just not possible. We have the problem of uh, spending many, many hours just to see uh, some really basic outside stuff. There's a barrier with communication. Like, even if you know what the, what the problem is, it's very hard to exactly communicate with the other person to be able to tell, uh, to be able to um, explain your thoughts. So I'll back to the I'll get back to this, and yeah. So so after hearing um, some more complicated explanation, usually people people uh, get back to just well I should get more practice because I have no idea what I should do beyond practicing. I have no idea what Saika said about for the last 
15 minutes. And that's fine, but not, that's not ideal. Right? But, uh, yeah. No idea. Okay, uh, so let's take a different approach to uh, improving yourself, uh, which actually will make it even more complicated. Uh, so, yeah, back, to back to basics. Uh, the, our goal was to maximize, maximize true rating, and we kind of, after talking about so many different aspects, we kind of assumed that's our main goal, but it really shouldn't be. Um, and yeah, I explain why. Um, so, af well, um, after living a bit uh, on this planet, I can tell you that pretty much no one really knows what they are doing, honestly. They will say they know, but they really don't. They will look back at their life like, what they were doing five years ago, and they will think, "Oh my God, I was so stupid! It, it, why, why did I, why did I pursue programming? I want to be an actor. I want to have a garden. I want to open a restaurant. So, and all the things I really worked on, they are waste. And well, I have to move on. And then, in the next five years, they will think." Oh my god, what did I open a restaurant? It doesn't make any sense. So, uh, okay. So, the, the point is that you don't really want to maximize your true rating. There are many other goals that you are achieving by, com by competing in contests. You can develop your, you can, uh, since programming competitions have an insane insanely good feedback. Like, uh, considering all of the mind sports uh, I did in my in the last 15 years of my life, uh, programming contests are probably the best way to give you a proper feedback about what you are doing. So you can use programming competitions just to um, obtain, just to train your basic skills and use them in other areas of your life. For example, and that's actually a funny story, so uh, when I was competing